News. Let's check in with Janice. All right, we have a topic today uh, and with uh, Stuart Welch here. Uh, I think it, it affects everybody, so we're going to get right into it. Stuart Welch is here talking about life insurance, and uh, we think, Stuart, good to see you. Thank you. We assume we're protecting our families by getting life insurance, but you say there's something that is just starting to happen with life insurance policies we all need to be aware of. What is that? Well, I think it, this is a warning shot over the bow. So what we saw in long-term care insurance is insurance that insurance business began to implode. Insurance companies began to raise premiums substantially and move out of the business. Just starting to see this happen with cash value life insurance. So I had a case that came in, I don't know, it was probably six months ago, and uh, this, this gentleman's about 72 years old, and the insurance company had raised his premium 60%. Wow. And it basically meant that he had to cancel the insurance. He did not, he could not afford to pay the premium. That he'd been paying this whole He'd time. been paying for decades. And it's, uh, uh, this was a universal life policy, and, and I'm starting to see two or three cases of that now. And so the concern is, is that as you get older and you're depending on this life insurance that in fact it might not be there. All right, why is this happening? Why, I mean, it sounds like it shouldn't be legal, but why yeah, is so, it happening? Well, people, the first question is, is people go, is it legal? And the answer is yes. Uh, it, I never saw this over the last, you know, 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. Insurance companies had projections and they, and they pretty much stuck to those reasonable projections. Now all of a sudden what's happened is a low interest rate environment that they didn't expect. Uh, they've had people living longer than they expected okay. just because of medical technology and then they count on certain number of people to drop their policies and all of a sudden what happened is people that were dropping their policies this boutique industry came out and started buying those policies which meant those policies stayed in force and actually ended up being a death claim so a mental um, a middleman comes in yeah keeps that insurance policy that the yes. company would have otherwise not paid out well, they wouldn't have paid out because the, uh, the, a certain number of people would lapse. They would just drop it because they didn't need it, they couldn't afford it, or whatever it was. Now, wow. an investor group comes in and says, you're not in that good of health. We're going to buy that policy for you. So instead of getting zero for your policy, you got money for your policy, but they then kept it in force. And they're making money off of your life yes, insurance policy. Yes, they are. Policy. It's kind of morbid. That is but crazy. It's kind of morbid, but that's a whole, there's a whole boutique business for that. Okay, so what is the advice to all of us, the consumer? I think two takeaways. The first thing is if you have cash value insurance, get with your agent and have him run projections on that policy to age 100. So really? I think people are going to live to age 100 particularly younger people, are going to, uh, that's going to become more of the standard and make sure that's going to work and then you're going to periodically want to check back in and make sure that that policy is still doing what it said it was going to do. And then the second thing is if you're over 65 and you're in less than perfect health, you need to think that maybe you could sell your policy instead of just letting it lapse. So there's this whole business out there that might do it. We just did one and uh, the, that person's going to get $135,000 for a policy he was just going to let lapse. So who do you contact for something like that? At that uh, industry where we're talking about that's kind of scooped in? Well, no, it's, uh, it's going to be a different set of groups. So you can, uh, uh, there's ways to find it. So I would just okay. go Google, uh, you know, buying a, a life insurance policy. You'll, there's a lot of advertising around it. You can okay. talk to people in the industry and they can refer, refer you to somebody, you to somebody. in that. Because you want to refer to somebody you trust. Yeah, and you want to All get right. a number of quotes because it can be very different. Stuart Welch, just the things you never yeah. know. All <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. Thank you, sir. All right.